things are getting really ugly down there in New England and really uncomfortable. So I was on Instagram and I read a report that said that 80 to 20 of the New England Patriots locker room has pretty much lost their faith of quarterback Mac Jones. And I'm really surprised that Mac Jones has gotten worse every single season that he's been in the NFL. Like his rookie season, he got voted into the Pro Bowl. And then after that, things have just been going downhill since then. Now, it's not all his fault. Bill Belichick fucked up by making Matt Patricia a defensive coordinator, his offensive coordinator in year two, which really didn't help his development. And then going into year three, yeah, you slightly upgrade with Bill O'Brien at the helm calling plays, but he's not all that better than Matt Patricia. Plus, the offensive personnel of Brown Mac Jones just isn't good, but Mac Jones also just isn't a good quarterback. And he's an even more terrible person. The way people talk about Mac Jones, they make it seem like this dude is the damn omen or something like that. And I'm really surprised that Mac Jones has so many character flaws. Because I've followed Mac Jones' career, not just with him being in the NFL, but all the way dating back to his days playing high school football at Bowles High School. And the reason why I follow his career so extensively is because he comes from the city of Jacksonville, and I'm also from Jacksonville. And he played at Bowles High School, which was a powerhouse program in Jacksonville. And at that time, he was getting coached by one of the greatest high school coaches in Florida high school football history. So the fact that he can't be coached, he gets really pouty when coaches snap on him, really has taken me by surprise. And it's no surprise that the locker room doesn't really like him because, I mean, when you're nut-checking guys and you're considered to be the dirtiest player in the NFL, like, of course, your teammates probably aren't going to like you neither. You see, it's so bad that there's a rumor that said that last year during a practice after Mac Jones had nut-checked the guy during the game, one of his offensive linemen had pulled him aside and said, hey, fool, you can't be nut-checking people. Because then people are going to want to start trying to do that shit to us. Like, Matt Jones is just a terrible leader. This dude has zero leadership. And even if you're a bad quarterback, you still have to be likable. You see, Kenny Pickett isn't good, but he's well-liked. Deshaun Watson has been a major disappointment for the Cleveland Browns, even when he has been healthy. But the players still really like him, believe it or not. Like, he's one of the more likable quarterbacks in the league. Despite what you may think about everything that's going on with him off the field and whatnot. Like, if you ask players about how they feel about Deshaun Watson, they really like him. They really believe in him. You see, it's hard to get the players around you to play at a high level when they don't have a lot of confidence in you. You see, like, the only player on the roster or on the offense that may like Mac Jones is... Demario Douglas, and only because he came from Jacksonville, so they probably done played seven on seven with each other in the past and whatnot, and they got that Duval connection, but that's probably the only player on the Patriots roster that actually fucks with Mac Jones, and he's so bad that in the last two minutes against the Indianapolis Colts, after he threw that back-breaking interception that got him cussed out on the sideline by Bill O'Brien, they said, you know what? No, like, we're not throwing you out there for the last two games. We don't, for the last two minutes, we don't trust you. We're going to throw Bailey Zappi out there, our backup quarterback. Bailey Zappi took no snaps during this game prior to the last two minutes. And they was like, you know what, Bailey? Go out there and show us what you can do with the game on the line. And, of course, it didn't work. But Mac Jones, like, this dude doesn't have any qualities that shows that he can be a serviceable low-end starter in the National Football League. Outside of that come-from-behind victory that he had against the Buffalo Bills, I mean, there hasn't really been a lot of highlights for Mac Jones in New England in the last two years. And you can say that he hasn't had a great, you know, team around him. But when you're drafted in the first round, you have to be able to overcome certain limitations. You know, like, Bill Belichick, he also deserves a large part of the blame for why Mac Jones is in the situation that he's in now. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you can't be nut checking guys and thinking that people on your team and people around the NFL are going to tolerate that shit. You know, like I've never heard too many crazy things about Mac Jones character until he got to the NFL. Now he had a couple of off the field incidents at Alabama. Like he got arrested for a DUI one time and, 
at Bowles. Like, there were some stories that came out about how he can kind of be a little bit of a loose cannon. But in the NFL, he just seems like a bratty, spoiled brat. Pretty much who can't be coached. And most former first-round picks, even if they are bust and they aren't that good, they normally get multiple opportunities to at least be a backup. Like Mr. Trubisky. But if Mac Jones fails in New England, I don't really think he's going to get too many opportunities because he's just not a great character. He's just not somebody that people like. Like, there's a saying in the NFL that goes, your most likable person on the team has to be the backup quarterback because he has to be okay with never getting an opportunity to start unless his number gets called. And he has to call in the plays and do a bunch of other things. You see, I don't think Mac Jones' ego will allow him to do that. You know, and it's like, New England hasn't done him any favors. It's just an all-around effed up situation. You see, Mac Jones was drafted to be Tom Brady's successor. Like, Tom Brady, he could be hard on guys. He also could be a little bit feisty with coaching. But he was somebody who the players absolutely believed in. Like, go back and watch the the America's Team documentary that recapped the Patriots Super Bowl win when they beat the Falcons that season. It didn't matter how much they were down by the Atlanta Falcons. They always had belief because they had 12. And you don't have that same belief in 12 that you do in 10. Because Mac Jones just is a shitty person. And I know it's harsh to say that because I don't really know the dude personally. But I mean, if the teammates aren't fucking with you and the coaching staff has had enough with you, I mean, there has to be something really bad about your character if pretty much the whole franchise has turned their back on you. Like, 80, it's like 80 to 20% of the team done turned their back on Mac Jones. And it's hard to play good as a quarterback when nobody wants to run through a brick wall for you. The way that the Houston Texans players talk about C.J. Stroud, like, they love this dude. They would run through a brick wall for him. Same thing with Kenny Pickett and Lamar Jackson. Like, you say anything bad about Lamar Jackson, they're probably going to fight you. But with Mac Jones, like, you don't see that. Like, if Mac Jones takes a dirty hit, like, you don't see any teammates getting up in the, the defense of his face about the fight for him. They just don't like him. They don't respect him. And when you have a quarterback that the team doesn't respect, it overall brings down the performance of the offense. Hell, at this point, you might as well start Bailey Zappi and just cut ties with Mac Jones. And Mac Jones is so bad that he pretty much is the reason why Bill Belichick's about to get fired. And it's not just all because Bill Belichick has been incompetent at assembling a solid offense around Mac Jones, but Mac Jones doesn't make the situation any better. This is just a toxic situation all around, but it doesn't help with the fact that Mac Jones is basically acting like the old man. He's acting bratty. He can't be coached. He's barking back with coaches. And, you know, coming out of Bama, like, there were some scouting reports that said that, yeah, like, he can be a little bit hot-headed at times. I kind of ignored that. Because coming from Jacksonville, like, I never heard anything questionable about Mac Jones' character. Like, I've always heard that the dude was a well-mannered kid, came from a great household, had both his parents, even killed, you feel me? And had a really solid season at Alabama. But, you know, Mac Jones, not only did he fool me, but apparently he fooled Bill Belichick and the rest of the Patriots organization. You know, I wonder if Mac Jones had Josh McDaniels as his OC for the last two years, and Josh McDaniels never got that head coaching opportunity with the Raiders, if his career would still have went down the same path. Because Josh McDaniels had Mac Jones cooking during his rookie season. Although he had a couple of off games, for the most part, like he showed a lot of promise in year one. But now at this point, it's like, oh my goodness, like you gotta get rid of this dude. I'm surprised he hasn't been cut like yesterday. Like he needs to be cut like tomorrow or the next day, with how bad of a person they make it seem like he is. And as I said, like, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, and we don't really know Mac Jones personally, but we can only go off what we see on the sidelines and, you know, what we hear from people who are working within the organization, and nobody ever has anything good to say about Mac Jones. Like, I remember last year when he was cussing out um, Matt Patricia. Now, albeit, like, Matt Patricia probably deserved that because... He didn't know what the hell he was doing. But it's like, you got a solid OC and Bill O'Brien, somebody who you did have a little bit of a relationship due to your Alabama ties. Like, Mac Jones taught Bill O'Brien the playbook when he first got the Bama, before he got drafted. 
So you would have thought that Bill O'Brien would have been able to squeeze a little bit of juice out of Mac Jones, but it's just nothing there. He's not that talented. Like, he doesn't have a good arm. His arm is so weak that Bill Belichick didn't even trust this fool to throw a Hail Mary against the Las Vegas Raiders last year. Y'all remember that game? I definitely remember it. So Bill, if Bill Belichick has lost confidence in Mac Jones and the rest of the team has, like at this point, you can't start Mac Jones. You, you got to bench him. And maybe you do what the Raiders did with Derek Carr. You basically may tell him just pack your things and just get out the organization and we'll end up releasing you in a couple of hours or something like that. Let you go find another team that may want to put up with your nonsense. So the fact that the Patriots locker room has turned on Mac Jones makes this thing really uncomfortable if you're Mac Jones. Like, I wouldn't want to be in Mac Jones shoes right now because it has to be a really uncomfortable feeling being the most hated player in your organization and you're the freaking quarterback. Like, there may be players who may just be allowing Mac Jones to get hit on purpose just because they don't like the dude. 